Hi guys, it's Phil from TeachBlend and in this quick video we're going to have a look at how we can manage our notifications in Yammer. So what we can do is actually turn off those sometimes annoying emails that you get that summarise Yammer when you're working in an organisation. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you. So here you can see I'm in office.com which is my homepage and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top and select the waffle menu and then going to find Yammer. Now your organization will need to use Yammer and which is obviously why you're watching this video but just so that you know to access Yammer that's how you do it in office.com. Once you're in here then what you need to do is go to the top right and choose the cog icon and from here you can then edit the settings. From here you'll see your main page with the accounts and networks. And what you want to do is you want to go over to the notifications option inside of that Yammer with the college or the institution that you're a part of selected. And then what you can do is you can just turn off or tick on the ones that you don't want to have notifications for and it'll say email me when. Now there's various different options in here and what I've done is I've explained these here so that you know which ones you want to turn on and off based on the description rather than me go through them all. But there is a couple of good ones that I would have emails on for such as logging in from somewhere new because that means it can help you keep your accounts secure. But there is other ones that you may want to turn off such as the daily notifications and emails that you get about posts on Yammer. There is some good ones as well such as when someone likes your post or if someone requests to join a private group and you need to authenticate it though you might get an email for them but it's completely up to you which ones you choose. I hope you found this video useful and if you did please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend.